I'm sitting here going through the daily traffic hazard. These clueless fucking morons. I, I mean, look at this shit. I, and this is one little school in one little town. Uh, I, I mean, the, these fucking parents. I, I, I mean, look at them. I, I, do they not have fucking school buses anymore? I mean, I don't even know. It, it's like every fucking day. I, and I guess this is every morning and every afternoon, five fucking days a week. I don't know. I know there's fucking school buses because I'm always getting caught behind the motherfucking school buses. So you can't tell me there's not any fucking school buses. All I can figure, all of these fucking uh, little panic sheeple parents is that these are the kids that should be within walking distance to school. So it, it is this absolutely fucking gloriously beautiful day here in paradise on it is a tuesday november 30th 2021 so the, the these fucking kids uh all i can assume is, is that the is that these fucking parents twice a fucking day uh you know taking their goddamn kids to school sitting in all of that fucking cluster fuck and, and, and then, uh, what is it, six hours later, doing it again because they because their fucking little brats can't get out and walk on a gorgeous fucking day like this. It's not like there's fucking six feet of fucking snow on the fucking ground. You know, it's not like there's a fucking blizzard blowing here, all right? It's fucking Florida. And I see this fucking bullshit all over Florida. It's not just it's, it's every goddamn town that, that, that I'm fucking going going through. I'm I'm either stuck behind a fucking school bus, or I or, or I get caught up in, in all of this fucking cluster fuck uh, of these clueless motherfuckers, not wanting their poor fucking little babies to have to get out and walk on a gorgeous. Uh, on a gorgeous fucking day. Get some fucking exercise, you fat ass little fucks. You know, look at the goddamn line. You know, it's fucking 2 30 in the afternoon. What the fucking. Where are we, checkers? Look, look at this goddamn drive through line at checkers. My guess is what this is because that's the high school right there. It is that. So my guess is what this cluster fuck at Checkers is, is, is the goddamn uh, little uh, privileged fucking uh, high school students who have their own goddamn cars. So they don't have to walk. And so they, they get in their fucking car, which is about one, which is about a block and a half fr from the fucking Checkers on this beautiful day and get in their fucking cars and, and, and sit in the, the motherfucking drive through line. Oh fucking God, am I gonna get behind a goddamn school bus now? Here, here comes the fucking, uh, uh, oh shit. Look at the goddamn flotilla uh, of these motherfucking school buses heading out. You, you don't see, I don't believe it. It looks like I might see two 16 year olds uh, out on the fucking sidewalk on this gorgeous day. Uh, not, not getting into a fucking school bus, not getting into their own car, not getting into their parents' car. It, it, it should, so I'm trying to get this motherfucker, uh, you know, to do some work on the goddamn, uh, uh, on this fucking pothole road going into my place. And I, I'm trying to get, and, and, and this is the guy, not not the woman. I'm trying to get the fucking guy to come out and, and, and bid the job on, you know, filling in these fucking potholes and bullshit. Uh, and, and you should hear what we're going through. This man's entire life is built around taking his kids to school and picking them up. Uh, I wish the fuck I had recorded th this grown man talking to me about his fucking day tomorrow. 
uh, unfucking believable. And, and, and I guess five fucking days a week. I wanted to ask, I, I, I wanted to say, listen, you clueless motherfucker. I, I said, okay. I said, where's the fucking school bus? And my guess is his answer would have been, well, they don't drive the school bus because, you, you know, they're supposed to be fucking walking. Uh, and, and so this grown fucking man on this beautiful day in small town America, I, I mean, the motherfucker, I, I, I mean, he, he's bouncing around the entire county. Uh, trying to, uh, you know, make, make disappointment. He has a fucking appointment at 6 o'clock in the fucking morning tomorrow. It's a grown man. He has an appointment at 6 o'clock in the morning. Then what he's going to do is uh, he has to run, a, you know, bid a job at 6 o'clock. He has to run all the fucking way back home, get his motherfucking kids uh, from the house, take them to school, okay? Then he's going to run out and actually spend a couple of hours doing a job, but he can't come bid my job because, which isn't that far from the job he's doing, because he has to stop every fucking thing he's doing on his job, assumedly to make fucking money to support his goddamn kids. He has to run back across the whole fucking county, get in that motherfucking clusterfuck to get his goddamn kids <coughs> and drive them back home like, like their own fucking uh, personal taxi service. And then he said, so all right, he, he, he goes, hopefully uh, I'll be done with all that and, and, and we'll drop the fucking kids off uh, hopefully I'll have them back home by 3 o'clock, 3.30 at the absolute latest, and so I will be out at your house between 4 and 5 in the afternoon. I mean, it's like this motherfucker is driving 100 miles tomorrow so he can take his fucking kids to school in the morning and pick them up in the fucking afternoon. You know, I, I, I hate to sound like, you know, one of, one of these old farts like I am. So when I was in elementary school, so from age, what is that, like 6 to 12, it was about two-thirds of a mile, I would say, that I walked uh, every day, uh, me and dozens of other fucking kids uh, walked uh, about two-thirds of a mile. Well, you, you know, when you would see a uh, hundred fucking eight-year-olds walking to fucking school in the morning and then walking back in the afternoon. And, and none of us were fucking obese. And so then I got into high school. So what? So, you know, starting at age 13, then it was 1.2 miles. This was in Atlanta, Georgia in the 1970s. I was just out of range or in range or whatever you want to call it, you know, where I was not eligible for uh, the school bus that at least in the 1970s in Atlanta, Georgia, 1.2 miles, uh, the school board or whoever may decide shit like that had decided that, that uh, you can get out there and fucking walk you fucking little spoiled pussy. Get out there and fucking walk 2.4. So it's 2.4 miles that uh, I, every day I, I fucking walked. Me and, uh, you know, 300 other uh, kids back in the 1970s. Fucking put one foot in front of the fucking other. You know, the, the entire high school parking lot for students who had cars, uh, it, it was like maybe, maybe 50 fucking kids uh, were privileged enough to have their own fucking cars. Uh, you know, even when I got my fucking car, uh, I, I, did not, I did not drive my fucking car to high school. Now, I did drive my uh, Kawasaki 175 motorcycle, okay? Uh, they did let me, they found room for me to park it there, so, uh, 
after I uh, got that when I was uh, 16, uh, at least uh, started riding my 175 motorcycle, mostly so I could put girls on the back to give them a ride home in the damn afternoon. But I'm just so fucking sick and tired uh, uh, of this whole fucking little generation of fucking pussies uh, that we're raising, seeing uh, th this grown man uh, running all over this fucking county. Uh, he can't come out to fucking bid a job because he's got to spend half his fucking life uh, taxiing his little darlings all, uh, you know, around the whole fucking county. And uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I mean, I wonder how many millions and millions uh, uh, of fucking fossil fuel engines. Now, I'm not talking the school buses. I'm not even talking the fucking school buses. I'm, I'm talking, the, you know, the fucking parents who won't let their fucking kids get out on a goddamn 70 degree gorgeous sunny fucking day and, and get off their fucking fat lazy asses and, and fucking and fucking walk. You know this this goddamn newest generation of fucking little pussies uh, that we're raising up. Anyone acting uh, you know acting like uh, this fucking generation uh, is gonna save this fucking planet. They they can't fucking walk three blocks. Uh, from school back home, uh, you, you know, without someone coming to save them, uh, they're they're the most uh, the most spoiled brat, entitled, privileged fucking generation uh, ever to come along. They're not going to do a motherfucking thing to save this fucking planet. Pull your fucking head out of your ass every time I hear this shit. Uh, Talking about uh, that, that whoever they were, who are these fuckers, the alpha generation? Yeah, I, I love that. The alpha generation, they're fucking generation fucked. I was, we were trying to think, uh, Aaron and I were trying to think of the Greek uh, alphabet letter for F, for the letter F. They're generation fucked. Anyway, now that I got that off my chest, uh, I'm heading out to Peanuts Sawmill to, uh, I'm hearing rumors uh, that these goddamn tree-hugging eco-Nazis won't let this fucking Trump tard get out there and log Cypress out of the swamp anymore, these fucking tree-huggers. So, uh... I've heard everything that you just can't get cypress lumber anymore, or if you can get it, it's going to be like four times the price that it was. I'm actually, your old eco-Nazi uh, is thinking about uh, taking a truck full of uh, cypress lumber up to, uh, up to New York and selling it, uh, and selling it in New York. Oh, God, we're so fucked. Anyway, get out there and enjoy uh, walking home from school while you still can. Bye, guys. There's the airboat store. What do you think? Should I go shopping? Uh, at the airboat store. I really do need to uh, go on an airboat ride when I'm down here this year. I think uh, I have never in my entire life been on an airboat, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to make that happen. Get a ham bone on a fucking airboat. This is what's left of the old Florida. This is Floral City. Florida just about bought a house in this town uh, 1997 it was twenty six thousand dollars can't remember why I backed out of that deal like a goddamn fucking fool 
Uh, I bet I bet this fucking place is three blocks from here. I, I bet this place that I could have bought for $26,000 in 1997. I, I bet the son of a bitch is, is worth $300,000 right now. And, uh, I love this road with these old oaks. Goddamn Tampa is marching this way. Fucking Tampa is gonna be here. Before we know it, man, you gotta love these gorgeous the old Florida this is what it used to look like all over this state before all these fucktards came along and ruined it pretty gorgeous come down and see me in the old Florida while you still can I am off to Peanuts Sawmill. I'll bring you a report when I get there. Bye, guys.